Now making his way to the glory ring, this heavy-handed power puncher, coming off a huge knockout win over Pat Berry in his glory debut, he is Zach Mercasa. The Black Warrior, Zach Mwekasa, from the Democratic Republic of Congo, now fighting out of South Africa. Early in his career, trained with some elite kickboxers, including the late Mike Bernardo. But after testing the waters of kickboxing, not getting many opportunities, he became a professional boxer at the age of 22. Went 15 and 4. In fact, is coming off another KO in boxing since his auspicious glory debut. 14 of those boxing wins inside the distance. This man celebrated a win at Glory 12 New York and was a Road to Glory finalist one year ago. Please welcome Brian Colette. We are set for the first of our two semifinals in the light heavyweight contender tournament at Glory 18, the lone American, Brian the Lion Colette. At 27, one of the hardest working guys in the game. And he is set to meet Zach Mwekasa. And Brian Colette is taller, younger, and almost twice the kickboxing experience as Zach Mwekasa. But when a man has a 91% KO average like Mwekasa does, it's best Proceed with caution. Three judges seated at ringside will score tonight's bouts using the 10 point must system. The winner of each round receives 10 points. His opponent, nine or less, based on a prioritized criteria number one, number of knockdowns, two, cumulative damage, three, number of clean scoring strikes with spectacular techniques, four, number of clean scoring strikes with normal techniques, and five, degree of aggressiveness. Let's go to the international voice of glory. This is Kim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, this light heavyweight contender tournament semifinal scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, trained as a boxer. He's the WBF Intercontinental Champion. His kickboxing record, 11 wins with just one loss, 10 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Standing six feet even, 1.83 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 206 pounds, 93.5 kilograms, fighting tonight out of the Congo. Here is Zach the Black Warrior Mwekasa! His opponent standing up a right and fighting out of the white corner, a former WKA heavyweight champion. His record 21 wins with just two losses, 18 wins by knockout. At six feet three inches tall, 1.91 meters. He too weighed in at 206 pounds, 93.4 kilos, fighting tonight out of the USA. Please welcome Brian the Lion Colette. And the referee in charge of the glory ring is Al Wickers. Back up, guys. Back to your corner. Back to your corner. Everybody out of the ring, please. Everybody You'll understand if Zach Moikasa doesn't think this fighting thing is all that big of a deal. He survived a volcanic eruption, civil war in his native Congo. He was bitten by a snake. He's been shot. He's been stabbed. And meanwhile, Brian Collette, well, he's a full-time IT technician who gets up 5.30 in the morning, trains, goes to work, comes back, trains again, eats and sleeps, and it's all for this. A chance to buy for the Glory Light Heavyweight Championship. They have to win two fights in one night in order to gain that opportunity. We are set for three three-minute rounds. Colette in the white gloves, Moikasa in the black. Moikasa said he's gonna open things up with a double jab or a triple jab to get on the inside because he doesn't want to stay on the outside on kicking distance. And he blocked that left head kick by Colette. Right hand by Colette. Nice sweeping right hook from orthodox stance. Inside low kick by Brian the Lion Colette. Again attacks the lead leg of Mwekasa, the black warrior who responds with an outside 
Low kick, no more for his punching combinations again. People may underestimate his kickboxing because, as we mentioned, Steven has worked with the late K-1 veteran Mike Bernardo, but has really found his calling with that knockout power. Just ask Pat Berry, that left uppercut that brought back memories of Jersey Joe Walcott dispatching Ezra Charles back in the day. He's bringing back a lot of memories of Mike Tyson, Ray Mercer, Ernie Shavers, even Tony Ayala Jr. If you want to go back to the 80s in boxing, if he puts pressure, it's really one of those things where you got to tie him up or kick him in the leg. And Colette is standing right in front of him. I'm surprised personally that Moikasa is not jumping on him here yet. Just but past the midway point of the opening round and he stabbed Colette in the face with that stiff jab. Colette catches the kick. Moikasa falls. Referee Al Wickers making sure he's okay. Minute 15 remaining in the first round. There's another stiff jab that Pac Colette's head back like that proverbial Pez dispenser as a bit of a feeling out process which we didn't expect Stephen knowing that again this is kickboxing three three minute rounds in glory well a couple things are at work here Colette is really respectful of the punching power and of course Moikasa is very respectful of the kicking power because Colette finished uh, I think it was his last fight with a head kick knockout as a youngster, Colette had aspirations to represent the U.S. in the Olympics as either a boxer or in Taekwondo. A groin injury at 14 put him on the sidelines for two years. At 16, he discovered Muay Thai and now considers himself a Muay Thai fighter. But this isn't the art of eight limbs. This is glory kickboxing with 30 seconds left in the first round. And Moikasa misses with that left uppercut. But again, knocks Colette down with the jab. That's a hard jab. But it was an off balance and Wickers will... Not rule it a knockdown. 15 seconds left as Mikasa goes back to work with the jab. Mikasa really wants a brawl here. And Mikasa now has Colette in trouble. And Colette goes down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You all right, Brian? Hands up, hands up. Take a step. Fight time. In the Glory Tournament, two knockdowns in a round, a three in the fight will precipitate the, the stoppage. And that came almost right at the bell, Stephen, and Colette's bell was rung. It really was. Colette uh, started to fade a little bit because he started to feel the power. Moikasa spent the first part of the round finding out what Colette was all about on the kicking range. Uh, you can see right here on the stats, it's all Moikasa. That was that was a borderline call because I personally I, I think that was a knockdown mm -hmm. because it was a very hard shot. He was on one foot, but here's a real knockdown for sure. Uh, he's hooking that right hand behind the head and it's right there. Oh, it was that left hand right up to the, to the front of the chin. Oh. Back in the corner, right? Back up, back up your corners. Back up your corners. Fight! The bell and round number two. So Colette had the opportunity to regain his faculties during that one minute respite and comes out and gets knocked off balance again by Zach Moikasa in the black gloves, the black warrior. Brian Colette in the white gloves and there's that overhand right behind the guard of Colette. And there Colette connects on a left hook but is met with a one, two through the guard. I'm not sure that the pride of Brian Colette is doing the right service here to box with Moikasa. I mean, he should be throwing low kicks. Jab again through the guard by Mikasa, backing Colette to the corner, and there goes Colette crashing to the canvas with another devastating left hand. That's it, folks. And that is a wrap. The Black Warrior continues his swath of destruction in glory, picking up his second consecutive knockout in incredible fashion. Wow. Zach Mikasa. The left hook drops Colette. The left uppercut did it in his debut. Remember, the Black Warrior, Zach Boycosta, headed to the final. And it's good to see that while he's having difficulty, man, 
I was going to say, it's nice to see Brian Collette getting up under his own volition, but he is having plenty of problems as he tasted the devastating power, Stephen, of the Black Warrior, Zach Mwekasa, who made an auspicious debut in his first glory fight, of course, against Pat Berry, but man, he continues to add to his growing legend here tonight. Uh, traditionally, a lot of former boxers or boxers used to go to Japan and get low kicked, but in this one, Mwekasa had other things in mind, but that big left hook, one punch knockout, was a walkaway knockout, basically. Boy Gossip was just thought, okay, well, oh, man. He's a counter over a right hand. Well, that got lazy, throw the right hand and drop with his hands. There it is. Both his hands are down. You don't want to do that against Boy Casa. I'm sure the other guys in the uh, bracket are thinking, wait a minute. This guy is the guy I'm going to have to fight in the finals? That left hook, it was unblocked. Colette basically was out of sorts there, trying to box with Boy Casa, And we saw what happened. One punch knockout. Waikasa moves on in the finals. Zach Waikasa made his glory debut at heavyweight, brought all of that power with him down to light heavyweight, and he starches Brian Collette early in round two, and now will sit back and await the winner of the second semi-final matchup between the number one ranked Daniel Ilunga and Brazilian banger Saulo Cavallari. Cool as a cucumber, Zach Mwekasa. I say it again, he does appear to be the real deal, Mr. Fight Professor. Uh, he, he really does. I was saying earlier that a lot of uh, boxers would go over and fight in J Japan under kickboxing rules and get low kicks, but Mwekasa, he's a different breed. He's got that kickboxing experience in South Africa with Michael Bernardo and other people, and he's really here to win. He's a different breed when it comes to the diet as well. 21 days before a fight, his diet consists of dried caterpillars and water. That's oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Sounds like something I would eat. Although he, I tell him to here's some peanut butter, but Moikasa breaks into the top 10 with that win. And boy, look at this. Tyrone Spong, Daniel Ilunga, Salo Cavallari. I mean, this place is stacked with great fighters. Artem Vahiktov, that he was supposed to be in the tournament, got hurt. Daniel Alunga takes his place. Of course, Alunga's upset that the likes of Saki and Spong moved down from heavyweight to light heavyweight, took over his spots, but he has reclaimed the number one spot. And he is going to face Salo Cavallari, but here in Oklahoma, the crowd still stunned by what just transpired. It's good to see Brian Collette back up in a vertical position as he was KO'd by Zach Moikasa. The Black Warrior Zach Moikasa literally punching his way to the final with a devastating knockout of Brian Collette. Moikasa was laying on the outside waiting, and I'm telling you, everything he threw hurt Colette, including a jab, which arguably could have been a knockdown in that first round. Colette hanging around on the ropes, getting plastered with a right hook, left hook. Colette really, really understood that this guy is no joke. He's not another uh, kickboxing victim going to get low kicked. This is a boxer that here is here to win this tournament. Well, he already won the Glory Half Year Award for knockout against Pat Berry. He just recorded another knockout of the year candidate against Brian Collette. Let's make it official with Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an official time of 45 seconds of that second round. This bout comes to an end by way of knockout. For your winner, who now advances to the tournament finals, Zach Muikasa! Zach Mwekasa puts Brian Collette in airplane mode with a lethal left hook, and he is en route to the final later tonight.